Hi right, guys, uh, welcome to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review, um, an overview and a review on the Flextail Pump Pro 2. This is the new version or the upgrade, upgraded better version of the Flextail Tiny Pump X. Uh, there's loads of people who've got that pump loads of reviews out on uh, on youtube there's a couple on this one already uh, but i've received this i've used it a few times in my last few camps and i'm extremely impressed so if you're interested stay tuned and i'll tell you all the stats so it comes in this nice little box i haven't got all of the accessories in here at the moment but essentially you get the uh, the pump a charge lead and about five or six different um, connectors to go onto your mat, depending upon which one suits it. A little bag to put it in. Now, the main difference between this one and the Flextel Tiny Pump X is size, weight, and battery power, and also what this can do in comparison. So the Flextel Tiny Pump, it only weighs 65 grams, this weighs 160. So you're looking at another 100 grams more. But this has a 3,600 milliamp hour battery in it as well. Whereas the Tiny Pump X only has 1,300 milliamp hours. And the X will give you 40 lumens at 10 hours, 400 lumens for one hour. This pushes out 500 lumens. It doesn't tell you how long for. To be honest with you, with the grade that's on this, I keep it on the lowest setting, it is more than bright enough to light up any tent uh, on its lowest setting. And I spent, obviously with the, the dark winters and evenings as they are now, probably four or five hours sitting in the dark with this tent on in the morning, put it on again, because again, waking up early, it was pitch black, and I had it on again for a few hours. Now, the battery in here will way beat the battery in the small pump, the uh, the X, the tiny X model. Um, so for lasting it on the light, it'll beat that. And obviously with the pump as well. Now I've seen someone pump up a UL80 mat 41 times with this charged. So yeah, it's a bit of a pain. It's bigger and heavier, but you can do without having an additional light. And if you're on a multi-day trip, this will continually pump up your mat when you need it. Particularly if you've got a Trekology UL80 that goes down every five minutes. So yeah, pretty pretty invaluable, I think, from that perspective. There's a hook on the top. I prefer to have an open hook because if you've got a hook in your tent, it's fine. But if you've got a loop, then you're gonna to need to put a carabiner on here. So I'm fine, my tents have got hooks on them, but I think I would adapt that or add another carabiner to it. You've got a USB port on the back, uh, the USB for charging, and a USB-C for charging your equipment. Now, this will charge up your phone. So if you don't have a power bank, I use an anchor power core. It's a 20,000 milliamp hour charger. This will charge my Samsung Galaxy S21, sorry, S20 Ultra, about three times, maybe four on a good day. Um, but I do a lot of filming, so I need to have a decent power bank. If you're not out doing videos uh, and, uh, and lots of filming, then this could be the only thing you need to give your phone a top up at night. When I plugged my phone into this completely empty, my phone showed five hours for charging. So it's not a, a fast charger, you know, it's not phenomenally powerful, but it's got 3000 milliamp hour in the batteries. So this will, if you're not using your phone for doing videos, um, if you just need it for a top up, stick it in at night time when you turn the light off and away you go. Operation of this is extremely easy. Um, I've seen a few videos of people using the, the tiny pump where it's very fiddly to try and get the light on. People keep turning the, the, um, the actual pump instead of the light. Uh, this has got two section buttons. So double click to turn the light on the bottom one, double click at the top one for the, for the um, pump. That's at 500 lumens. If you press and hold it, it just slowly goes down and down and then it stops at the lowest level. And as I say, I've had that on my tent. Inside, it is more than enough to light up inside your tent. So I don't think I'd ever need to have it any brighter than that. Um, and that's going to last a very long time um, on this, which is I think 50 lumens at its lowest setting. 
one click switch off. Again for pumping up, double click the top button to turn on or off. Much easier than the previous one. The downsides are it is larger, it is heavier, but it's phenomenally quick at pumping up your mat. And if you've got one that keeps going down, this will keep it pumped up. I'll get my mat out now and I'll show you how quick it works. Okay, so the mat I'm going to pump up is the, um, it's my recent mat, the Unigear Comfy 3 sleeping pad. Now this is a large, so this is 198 centimeters by 65, I think it is wide and 10 centimeters thick. So it's pretty much going to be the biggest mat you're going to get in comparison to the majority of others out there. I'll get this out and I'll show you how quick it pumps up. This one does come with a pump sack, but the pump sack is tiny. I hate it. It's the only problem with it. It fits inside the bag okay, um, and the bag becomes the pump sack, but it's so small it takes like 20 pumps to get it up. Um, so I just don't use it, I blow it up by mouth. Or the last two camps, I've used this and it's phenomenally quick. Okay, so this mat comes with a single valve inlet and outlet. Um, you just push that out of the way to pump it up and to let the air out, you just pull the flap out. This is the adapter that fits with this one. It fits with the majority of them, but again, they come with several adapters, so you're bound to find something that will fit suitably inside your mat with what this comes with. Okay, so I'm gonna use my other phone to uh, time this, and uh, I'll show you just how quickly this will pump up this massive mat. So double click on the phone, hit the start button. That is pumped up fully. And that is less than 21 seconds. I know we shouldn't be in a rush when we're out camping. And I always say that it doesn't really matter if something takes a bit longer, but these are quite noisy. Both the fans are. Um, I'm not a lover of making loads of noise when I'm out while camping, particularly if you're trying to be a bit stealthy, but it's still just disturbing. So. The quicker and shorter it is, as far as I'm concerned, the better it is. And you don't want to be hiking miles and then having to pump up a mat when you're out of breath and tired, or using this tiny little pump sack to try and get it up. So this is a major benefit. Threefold, it'll charge your phone. So in an emergency, if your phone runs out, you've got a backup. You've got a great light for inside your tent. It's fantastic last for hours more than bright enough in any setting and then you've also got a pump for your mat so for the sake of 100 grams more than the previous one is it worth it i don't know it's down to you it's down to your preferences you know you may not need to have the backup of a battery um, and you may be happy with the speed at which it pumps up your mat but for a little bit more a little bit more weight i think the light the usability of the buttons on this as well, uh, and the fact that this has got such a big battery in it, that if you do have an issue with your mat, you can continually pump it up. Or if you're on multi-day hikes, you're not gonna run out of battery on here, and you're not gonna have to recharge it, or you could be using that charge for something more valuable, like your phone or a GPS device, or whatever it might be. Great bit of kit. You can also deflate your mat using this as well. So if you take the uh, adapter off of here and put it onto the top, that is the, the uh, suction section of the pump and it blows the air through there. So if you then take that and put it onto the mat, it will deflate it. One issue though, it does depend on your mat. What I have found is when you, when you put it in there, it's, it's so powerful, it will suck the mat into the back of it and then it blocks the, uh, the actual valve. So it ends up blocking itself and stopping it from deflating. So it will depend on the, uh, the valve that you've got, but you can use this to deflate it. So the Pro 2, is it worth it? As I said before, you know, it's down to your personal preferences. I love it. 
It's a bit heavier than the other one, but it's great. I like the fact that there is a backup of the power bank on there. You know, I do have a, a power bank, but colder weather, it's going to get uh, reduced in that capacity quite quickly. So any kind of additional backup that I've got to charge my phone or anything else is always going to be handy. Um, I love the lights. It's not the heaviest thing in the world. So, you know, it replaces my light as well. So that reduces a little bit of weight, nothing drastic, but it's just a great piece of kit. This is more expensive than the, um, the X, Tiny X pump. Um, I think you can get them for about £22, and this you can pick up for around £35. I think they're 40 on Amazon, but if you shop around, you can, you can find it cheaper. So yeah, I think this is a great piece of kit. It's perfect for me. I don't mind the extra 100 grams. The pump's fantastic. The light's great. I'll be taking this on every trip that I go on now, particularly in the winter months where I need a decent light. So if you do want to purchase this, I'll leave a link below in the description. As always, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already, and I'll see you on the next one soon. Cheers, guys.